loved this term I hear uh, a lot, which is in, in very interesting in family law that there's something called imputed income. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so when I first heard this, I thought it was really strange because um, coming from civil litigation or I, mean, I guess even criminal, like either something happened or it didn't kind of thing, right? So <laughs> I just thought it was really strange, this concept that a family judge, family law judge could yeah. sort of like tag on or assign uh, an income yeah. to, a, to, a, to a parent. Um, and then somehow um, they're kind of like, uh, you know, obliged to uh, pay child support, you know, proportionally uh -huh. to that income. Um, so my uh -huh. question now would be, uh, okay, so yeah, let's suppose like, yeah, you used to be in a high paying job, like being a, a surgeon or something. <laughs> um, but then you've, um, the, the stress of being in such a demanding job mm -hmm. has caused you to become ill. Um, and so you decide, you know, um, you, you I mean, I, um, the, said the person, the parent decide to get a lower paying job. Um, but I heard that uh, the judge could still kind of imp uh, impute the surgeon's income. To, uh -huh. Is there any way to um, help the person who, who truly is uh, in a lot of, uh, you know, uh, emotional or mental or physical distress? That's a good hypothetical. It's a hypothetical case that models a, a case we see often. Mm. Um, first, the starting place is understanding what the purpose of imputing income is for. The purpose to impute income is, and I always tell this to people when they meet me, right. you're never the first person to try to cheat the law, okay? <laughs> so imputing income is meant as a tool yeah. to avoid someone or to stop someone from avoiding child support. Okay, got okay. It. So right. there have been nefarious people, right? right. Not everybody's nefarious, right. but there have been nefarious people yeah. who, out, for whatever reason, do yeah. not want to pay the child support That's that true. they are supposed to pay under the law. Right. And what those individuals have done is they have stopped working. Yes. It maybe said they were sick or they purposely got fired or they quit their job. And we hear that all the time, right? Yes. So the the law to impute income is meant as a deterrent so for example a person called me today and said well my husband said that if i leave him he's going to quit his job and i'm not going to get any child support and the answer is well they can quit their job right. but if the evidence yeah. proves that they quit their job purposefully and they should be employed right in a job that is relatively around their skills, let's say that is of 60 right. grand, the law to prohibit them from doing that is going to force them to pay child support at that wage. So the person they are hurting is not the children, it's the hurting themselves. So that law is mm -hmm. meant to be a deterrent right. from avoiding child support. In your hypothetical, the question is whether the person is trying to avoid child support purposefully mm -hmm. or whether they have a legitimate case right. Right. to have a change in income. If someone is saying, well, I've changed my income right. from my previous pattern right. for legitimate reasons, the analysis is fact specific you have to provide evidence. In that case, it would be medical evidence, mm. right? To mm -hmm. show what are the disabilities, what are the jobs they can do, and what would be fair. If it's in front of a judge or an arbitrator, those third parties will assess the evidence and decide what's fair. Mm -hmm. if, it, if the case is in mediation or negotiation, mm -hmm. the parties have to negotiate what they think would be fair mm -hmm. amount of child support or fair income. So I, I know it, uh, it's um, probably common, right? More common than, <laughs> than you think. Yeah, really. certainly. Um, 